is the means by which human beings see themselves, each other, and their place in universe. Light is the pillar of the basic sciences that triggers innovation, which in turn is conducive to scientific progress and development. The pervasiveness of the subject of light serves to promote cross-disciplinary quality science education, which can make students more critical and creative to be able to gain a better understanding of the applications of light for sustainable development of the global society. And its applications are almost endless. It is not a coincidence that the invention of lead were granted the Nobel Prize in physics. It is indeed an exciting technology, and for us working in the environment, perhaps one of the clearest means to mitigate climate change and achieve sustainable development. A global transition to efficient lighting would also increase the competitiveness by cutting electricity bills, improving grid reliability, and reducing fuel and energy imports. In order to take up this challenge, countries need to have integrated and smart policies, standards, financial packages, and technical know-how to meet the rapid pace required to meet the challenges of climate change. Since the 1990s, a new group of visionary scientists and diplomats has been working together, pushing a lot for the establishment of a regional scientific research laboratory for the Middle East. Two decades later, their dreams is taking physically shape in the form of sesame, currently under construction near Amman in Jordan. As with CERN six years ago, sesame was established as an intergovernmental organization under the auspices of UNESCO. Today, sesame consists of several nine members, which are Bahrain, Cyprus, Egypt, Iran, Israel, Jordan, Pakistan, the Palestinian Authority, and Turkey. Both CERN and the UNESCO support SESAME in their respective field of competence. But SESAME is close to our hearts because it will be a tangible example of the contribution that science can make to peaceful cooperation among people and nations pursuing common goals. Light, after all, is not only a physical entity. Light is essential to inspire the human thought and to allow humankind to develop in harmony. We, as scientists, we understand the technologies that can change this planet. We understand the technologies that can improve education, that can reduce poverty, that can improve equality and cultural understanding. Maybe it's time for us, I'm talking to my scientific colleagues here, to take responsibility ourselves for ensuring that they're used wisely and made available to all. This is the other question I, I'm going to raise about light in politics. And here I'm using light uh, to enlightenment of our minds nowadays. I believe a better world perhaps is what I call my three A's. First, we have to elevate the not knowing. This is a huge population in the world of today. My belief is that education and science, especially education. And so we spend a lot of money giving F-16 and planes and tanks and all of that stuff. If you take two, three F-16s, you can make huge effect on education of the world. Second, <clears throat> alleviating the not having. There are so many who are living on less than one dollar a day in our world. And I hope that we can have the aid with partnership to help these people achieve a better status. Third is elevating the not free and uh, helping liberty and justice by being consistent, we need dialogues, not conflict, and we need vision and leadership. So I'm going to end by saying that space-time of our world is truly progress 
and peace in the year of light and beyond. And let's all enjoy life. Thank you so much.